This is Andy Bryce of Perfect Table Plan. I'm going to show you how you can import your guest list into Perfect Table Plan so that you can plan the seating for your event. Perfect Table Plan is available for Windows and Mac. Here I'm going to use the Windows version. On Windows, guest lists can be delimited text such as comma separated values, also known as CSV, or they can be Excel or vCard format. On Mac, guest lists can be delimited text such as CSV or vCard formats. Excel is not supported, but you can easily file save as an Excel file to CSV. Your guest list might have been created by hand or exported from another piece of software, such as an event registration system or CRM system. Perfect Table Plan can handle all of these. vCard import is very straightforward. Just drag the vCard files onto Perfect Table Plan. So I'm going to concentrate on how to import from Excel and delimited text files, where there are a lot more options. A wide range of different guest list layouts are supported. For example, one guest per row, with multiple columns for their name, or multiple guests per row with guest names in a single column each. This means there are a number of options, but once you've done it once, it will be easy. Let's start with this Excel spreadsheet, which has one guest per row in multiple columns with a group column. This is probably the easiest format to deal with. We can select File Import, or we can just drag the file on. If an Excel file has multiple sheets, we have to choose which one to import. We have a number of pre-built mappings for other systems, but we're just going to stick with custom for now. We can see that this first row is a header, so we don't want to import that. And now we just need to map our guest list column to perfect table and guest properties. We can see that Perfect Table Plan has a lot of inbuilt guest properties, but for now we can ignore most of these. So the first column is title, second column is first name, and the third column is last name. And we're also going to import this meal selection. We're also going to import this group column, which tells us how people are split into groups, which will be useful later on. Once we're happy with the column mappings, we click Next. This shows us how the guests are going to be imported as individuals and in groups. So we can see that the guests are grouped according to the group column. And if we're happy, we can click OK. If we're likely to have other spreadsheets in the same format, we can save this mapping to use again. And again, we can see the guests in their groups or individually and we can sort them by their first name, last name, and so on. Typically, we want to put people in groups. At a social event, groups will normally be family units. At a business event, they might be people from the same business. Note that all the people in a group share the same contact details. If they need separate contact details, then they should be put in separate groups. Let's try the same spreadsheet again, but we'll quickly skip over the mapping step. But this time we're going to assume that we don't have a group name column. If we click Next, we can see that Perfect Table Plan does know how to put these people into groups. So we can go back and click the More button. And we can tell it to group people with the same last name. So if we have two consecutive guests, such as the Adams here, that have the same last name, it will put them in a group together. Now this may not always work. For example, here we can see we have someone because their name had a lowercase c rather than uppercase c, it's put them in a different group. But we can easily fix that by drag and drop. And then delete the NT group. But it's generally easier to use a group column. If we click the more button, we have a few other options. We can check this box if there's only ever one guest per cell. Otherwise, if there are ampersands, pluses or commas, in a column, Perfect Table Plan will assume that means there's more than one guest name in that column. Typically, we want members of a group to be sat together, but it's also possible to set it to not next to or not near to if we want to split groups up. And we can set the format column if we have something other than the standard CSV or Excel files, for example, if we have tab delimited files, or CSV files with semicolons instead of commas as the delimiters. We can configure titles and suffixes, where titles come before the name and suffixes come after the name. So we have a standard set of English titles here. We can add more titles. 
For example, we can add titles in German or French. And for each of those titles, we can say what their likely gender is, whether they're likely to be an adult or a child, and whether they're likely to be a VIP. And we have some predefined lists. For example, Masonic ranks and ranks in the US Army and Air Force. And we can set the most likely titles for a couple in case they're not set in the guest list. Once we've added our guests, we can edit them individually if we need to. This time we have a CSV file with the guest names in a single column. Let's import it. This time I'll select full name for the name column. And again I'll set the meal and the group column. And here we can see it's correctly split out the name into title, first and last. In this CSV file, we have multiple guest names per row with multiple guest names in the same column. Perfect Table Plan can still deal with this. So we'll set this to the full name. And here we can see Perfect Table Plan has successfully split these out into title, first name and last name. Each row in the CSV file is now a group. In this CSV file we've got the guest name and the spouse name in separate columns and their meal choices are in separate columns as well. Perfect Table Plan can also deal with this. Note that the meals are expected to be in the same order as the guests. So Mr. Adams is getting fish and Mrs. Adams is getting beef. Another common approach is to list the name of the main guest and then have a second column saying how many guests they're bringing. Perfect Table Plan can deal with this as well. Note that guests without a name are imported as anonymous and have a placeholder name based on the group. Sometimes we'll import a list and then add some more guests to the list. Perfect Table Plan can handle that as well. So let's import an initial list. Now let's import a second list that's identical to the first, except a new couple's been added. It's now telling us there are guests with duplicate names. We have to be a little bit careful here because we might actually have two guests who genuinely have the same name. So we'll say no to importing all the guests that we've already imported and click no to all. And this shows us our guest list with the guests we already imported in blue and the new guest shown in white. So we can go ahead and just import the new guests. For more information on handling differently organized guest lists, click on the examples link. Note that it's possible to edit your guest list during the import. This will not affect the import file. For example, we can add and delete rows or add, delete, split or join columns. This is often useful when the guest list is not in the form we need it. Guest lists often need some cleaning up, for example, to make case consistent and remove duplicates. If you need to do this, check out our Easy Data Transform software. It's a simple way to merge, filter and clean up data such as guest lists. It runs on Windows and Mac and there's a free trial.
as well as importing guest names, you can also import all sorts of other details. For example, their suffix, special requirements, such as whether they're in a wheelchair or dietary requirements, any guest notes, their VIP status, or their RSVP status. Click on the Help button for more details. The Advanced and Professional editions of Perfect Table Plan support custom fields, and you can import these. For example, we can import the ticket type as a custom field of type selection. So we'll select Custom Field, and it's correctly worked out the six ticket types we have in this column. And we can import the guest type. Again, we'll make this a selection field. And finally, let's import the amount paid. And we'll add this as a custom field of type currency. The advanced edition allows up to two custom fields. The professional edition allows up to 20 custom fields. We can also import seat assignments made outside Perfect Table Plan. We need to have added tables with the correct name and the right number of seats before we do this. It's also possible to import guest proximity, who you want to sat next to who, in the professional edition. That concludes our quick overview of importing into Perfect Table Plan. The import feature is very flexible and can handle pretty much any type of guest list. If you get stuck, email support at perfecttableplan.com. There's also some additional information in the How Do I list and a step-by-step -step tutorial in the help. You can download a free trial for Perfect Table Plan for Windows or Mac from our website. You don't even have to give us your email address.